Uh, real quick, let's touch on this. Uh, the European Union reportedly is preparing to challenge Microsoft's Activision Blizzard deal. They're preparing a list of concerns and then they will present them before allowing the sale to go through. This is very, very normal. Um, it, it makes sense. I mean, this is a $70 billion acquisition. This is a huge, huge thing. And so they're not just going to waltz in and be able to do it casually. There's a lot of money tied up in this. Sony is spending millions trying to lobby to prevent this from happening. Uh, you know, this is no small thing. There's a lot of people that don't want this to happen because it's going to hurt their wallets. And um, honestly, if PlayStation executives spent more time greenlighting quality games and working on manufacturing turnaround times, then they probably would be in a better spot uh, than if they spent all that time doing what they've been doing, which is just trying to get this deal shut down. But what we normally see is that there's usually concessions made. So the EU will come along and say, hey, listen, we're concerned about exclusivity of this game. And so uh, Microsoft will come back and be like, OK, we agree for the next seven years. We will not uh, make it exclusive. We will not. It'll be open to everybody. And then they say, OK, that's awesome. That's great. That sounds good. And then they, okay, we, we'll agree that that's settled. Next point, we're concerned about this. Uh, we're concerned about workers' rights. And then Microsoft comes along and says, oh, we've actually been very supportive of unions and uni unionizing. And so we support that and are uh, willing to work with employees who want to do that. And they're like, awesome. We've got you on record saying that. So now we can move on. And the next point. So they'll just work down the list of concerns and try to figure out what they need to do to get the deal across the table uh, or across the finish line. And I think that that's probably going to happen as for major concessions made i don't know um what they'll need to do but i still think the odds are pretty good that this goes through um, microsoft has a lot of money and a lot of pull so if any company on earth could manage to pull this off it's microsoft and uh all of the concerns and legal challenges sony and these other companies have made are really just not very compelling Sony is considered like the front runner in the games industry in terms of revenues, uh, along with Tencent. And so Microsoft is technically like third place. And at the same time, PlayStation is saying that they don't consider Xbox their competitor. You remember that? They came out and said that we, yeah, we don't consider them our competitor. We consider Nintendo to be more of a competitor to us based on their unit sales and stuff. Okay. Well, if you don't consider them a competitor, why are you concerned about this? Because they'll become a competitor. <laughs> you don't get to prevent companies from becoming competitors just because it's threatening to you. That's not how this works. And for customers, I think that this is uh, generally a really, really good thing. Um, it will drive, hopefully, Sony and EA to be better. I don't love the idea of Microsoft being able to just waltz in and buy up every studio they want. I don't like that. But honestly, I would rather Microsoft own it than Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia has announced that they are looking to buy whole companies in the near future. So I'm definitely more okay with Microsoft buying it um, than like, you know, Saudi Arabia coming and picking it up. So I will say that. He took my thing.